How you guys doing? It's Artist Avery here to give you guys my review of Mafia 3. Now Mafia 3 is the debut game for the recently founded studio Hangar 13. In this game you're going to be playing as Vietnam veteran Lincoln Clay as you're on the pathway to exact revenge on the entire Mafia for killing your family, the Black Mob. So, to say the least, it's going to be a lot of action within this game. Now, I definitely want to take the time to actually express that this game does take part within a fiction of 1968 Louisiana, so there will be a lot of depiction of racism within the game. Now, this is also a conscious decision made by Hangar 13 to create an intense and immersive experience for the gamers, and this does not reflect the values of Hangar 13 nor the parent company 2K Studios. Now, with that being said and all out the way, Let's sit back, relax, and let's get into this gameplay of Mafia 3. So, jumping into a little bit of the first He's mission of the room. game, which is Rob, actually you and your good old friend Georgie here. Um, you guys are working together along with a couple of your other pals to um, rob the Federal Reserve. So, of course, I already took out one of the guards, another one's alive. Well, scratch that. No one's alive, cause you know, no witnesses. But apparently, I was trying to find some keys here. Uh, didn't really know that it was right there on the floor. So definitely, the first part of this whole gameplay is really to get you really involved with learning who Lincoln is. So as you're playing through this heist, you're actually going to be given cutscenes of the people in Lincoln's life talking about the type of person he is and um, definitely recalling the events that led up to the bank heist, uh, well, the Federal Reserve heist, and then more importantly, the death of his family and also the attempted murder of, of himself. Yes, he gets shot at and he survives. But one of the really cool things that I definitely want to kind of like bring up is like the driving aspect in here. It's super awesome. Uh, one of the things I like is just like the visuals of it, the Dodge music the on it as well, that you hear while driving is also perfect as well. Unfortunately, due to licensing this agreement, um, the music doesn't play within the recordings and stuff. But being able to have like that nice little 1960 Louisiana vibe was like really awesome and pretty dope as well. Um, but then outside of like just really the music while you're driving was also the vehicles as well pretty dope. So like the, um, the little carrier truck is really heavy on the turns and stuff but then when you get into Lincoln's like American muscle car beautiful it drifts like almost every time you try to do like a basic turn so it definitely has a really dope feel to it so I'm a definitely a big fan of that from playing Need for Speed but uh, really cool it's driving around is really nice it gives you a lot of opportunities right. to uh, really kind of see a lot more and gives you again a big realistic feel when driving around um, you do have the option later on to switch the stance on uh, uh, if you want a uh, more realistic driving experience or not, I personally don't know the difference, uh, mainly because I just left that default settings. So, move along back to the gameplay and everything, um, just kind of like starting everything out, um, Georgie has already like kind of gave you a warning like, yo, I'm about to say some crazy stuff, don't take offense to it. At this point, they're really um, everyone's really up in arms at Lincoln's appearance, uh, mainly because he's Dominican. Now, uh, a lot of people were under the impression that black guy. Unfortunately, no. Right as you play the game, it's announced that hey, Lincoln Dominican possibly mixed with white, but from the skin color here, he's not white. True, he's definitely close to this right here. So. For the sake of the argument, if it wasn't white, you got called all the N words and racial slurs that was used for African Americans. So, really good stuff, but you know, we're not by ourselves. So, again, since we are talking about uh, 
um, post Vietnam and stuff, um, there's like derogative terms that are being used for Asians as well. So, definitely, again, I said that this was like really racially and socially charged, and it's that. Um, they definitely do a couple of uh, N bombs here, and uh, I, it makes me feel a tad bit uncomfortable. Well, when I say tad bit, I mean really uncomfortable, but I definitely feel for the game now. Uh, I'm, I'm getting into it, I'm feeling it, I'm getting upset with almost everything I'm doing uh, within this part. It's just really kind of understanding and really feeling for everything that's going on within the um, time period. Uh, Unfortunately, I can't really talk too much about being alive in 1968, considering the fact that I was born in the late 90s, you know, goddamn old millennials, but definitely, I uh, really hate it, and I have to say, it definitely adds to the intensity, but uh, I definitely will have to say, I don't think there's uh, any overuse of, like, the, the language within the game. I think it's all used at the... Um, right time, shall I say? But is it really a right time to say that? Well, only words. So now we finally made it into this amazing like burn room to, to burn all this amazing money. I, I personally don't understand why you would have to do that, but uh, I'm before. supposed to be getting ready to, you know, kill somebody, and I completely missed that message. Oh, it's time to turn on the heat! Used to use yeah, cold for missing. Years, so for a bit, you know. They were like, okay, cool. I was like, all oh, right. I think this is the time for me to kill the guy. And look at that crazy animation. So definitely want to like give big kudos when it comes down to like the takedown animations because they're like amazingly done, executed, um, great movements as well, and. It does give you the opportunity, as you continue to play through, to see various other takedowns. But then also you have like these really cool stuff approaches as well. So able to take out the guy from a pallet full of bills, which is like ridiculous. And I'll just like instantly take him out. And I was trying to go for another one, see if I can lure the guy, but wasn't able to, so I'm just gonna come around and choke him out the old fashioned way. Like, bring it over here. So pretty good stuff. So at this point, Lawrence Smith set off. Everyone knows I'm here. So let's start playing around. Start this nice little amazing gunfight. So now let's get the little Call of Duty tactics going on here. Get a little bit of view. Yeah, these guys were not ready. They were not ready. Poor fellow just kind of like ran into those bullets. And prepping here. Ooh. All I have to say, like, the level designing in here was really amazing. Uh, I have to tell you, these guys, they're just like, they weren't ready. They were walking into some problems. But the gameplay was nice, and the use of being able to use cover in here is pretty dope as well. It definitely kind of makes the game feel a lot more authentic and realistic in a sense until, you know, you survive a shotgun blast. But, you know, just a game. So, this is kind of like, at this point, like the game has been still progressing, switching back and forth between um, events leading up to this and then small little cutscenes. So, you're still getting a lot more about learning about Clay, the issues his, uh, his family is in, being a black mom, and then Greenman Day essentially made with my uh, which is part of the entire mafia. Um, really cool thing of BL from Mafia 2 does make an appearance in here so for a big Mafia fan you definitely gonna love this and look at this these guys are just getting mauled down by this machine gun and of all the places this is a weird place to have this in the army of the Federal Reserve so I'm not sure if they just literally have like these things just chilling laying around everyone else but I mean like some pretty heavy equipment right there but, you know, I definitely enjoyed using it, so I can't really complain too much about that. So, now kind of getting closer to the end of this amazing heist here. And this is where things are getting uh, pretty heated. Uh, I definitely want to go into talking about some of the extra stuff you do end up getting while within the game. So as you continue to progress through everything, you'll be able to, like, unlock, um, 
more explosives like your name, your Molotov, some. They even began to start making like your, uh, your own mob itself. So, this is like literally. You think like all this firefighting stuff is really crazy and super intense and just fun and over the top. Like, it, it gets even more crazier. Like, as you continue to play through it. And I definitely like enjoy like this whole entire bank heist aspect because it was just all the storytelling, um, laying over like all this action you get to do. And then of course, you know, every now and then you get to, hey, let's teach you about swapping cover. I've been doing this since you told me how to take cover. So you guys are just a little bit late. But game does a really good job in actually asking you and really teaching you how to play the game. I think that was like the really cool part and the reason why I decided to like go look at this particular um, video and this particular moment within the game at the beginning because it does such a good job and really orchestrating just some of the um, action and amazing stuff you will get within the game but at the same time it doesn't give you everything. And that's what I'm about. Not ruining stuff for people. But, I mean, believe it or not, like doing all of this, I did this all within, uh, spend like three hours? Two, three hours. It's the first part. But yeah, the game is like really intense. Um, good, good moments, good moments. Uh, and all the characters are really well built. It is definitely a shame that some of them will end up dying. By me! <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I definitely had to say kudos to developers, so uh, even like the humor within the game is really nice as well. I mean, everyone's now talking about using dynamite, and that is not at all. What? Totally not how we're supposed to be doing this. I thought we were just supposed to take the money, not take the whole entire vault with us. So like literally, the game is definitely going to be really insane, really crazy. You have like all oh, this really cool intense music, you just, just you're going crazy. Um, and the game is just well played, so I definitely have to say like, you guys are going to love this. Check it. So, what did you guys think? For me, I think my Fit 3 is awesome game it definitely has a lot of action within it and as you continue to get involved within the story it is intense completely immersive uh, literally it's kind of made to really invoke uh, emotion out of you and I admit I get a lot of feels playing this game now, on top of that it does also give you the opportunity to really explore the New Bordeaux um, area of Louisiana which is really awesome so if you're looking for the opportunity to find what else the game has to offer you do have that through the nice little side quests and missions that you have in regards to building up your your gang your mafia itself and then also even going to do the collectibles you know there's a lot of stuff for you to collect within the games and it will definitely give you uh, a lot of play time within the game now uh, what i would probably consider would be some downside to the game would be with it being so socially and racially charged yes you will feel uncomfortable if that's something that you're really not ready for you're not really looking for with your gaming experience then uh, hey i'll admit that this is not the game for you another big thing to add is that there's no multiplayer in that so for those who are looking for something similar along the lines of the grand theft auto online you don't get that here um i honestly think that they really want to focus on creating this um storytelling experience and by doing so they were just like hey no multiplayer and the game doesn't need it to be honest i don't think the game needs it but yeah there's no multiplayer so if you're looking for that you probably want to drop off your tail on that one as well but all in all it's a phenomenal game and i think honestly for all those action junkies there this is totally the game for you and i definitely want to take out take the time to say Thank you everyone for checking out this review. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. 
And if you have something to say about the game or the video itself, or you just want to send me a message, put it into the comment. Check it every day, and I respond back to everyone as fast as I can. And then, last one, if you want to get notified in future videos, push the subscribe button. I am doing videos every week, so I'm definitely keeping up and posting everything here for you guys, all right? And with that being said, I'd like to thank you guys, but eh, there's a couple of people that need to get whacked off here. So I'm about to jump back into the game and see what trouble Link and I can get into, all right? So you guys have a wonderful day. Ciao. Skills.